It appears that you subscribe to Freudian theory, correct? To a certain degree, yes. All right. Freudian theory assumes that emotional and behavioral problems originate as a result of some significant childhood experiences, correct? Correct, yes. And in particular, Freudian theory would be interested in, one, a history of family conflict in childhood, correct? It, it, it could be, yes. And Freudian theory would be interested in, two, the extent to which someone recalls their mother as being depressed, for example, correct? Uh, that might be another issue of interest, yes. And Freudian theory would be interested in, three, um, how attached someone felt as a child to their family, correct? That, yes, that could also be an issue of interest. Now, previously we talked about journals, and I, and I want to ask you if the Journal of uh, Psychological Assessment is a generally accepted and recognized peer-reviewed journal in your field. Uh, yes, it is, yes. And a 1994 study by Henry and his colleagues published in the Psychological Assessment Journal titled On Remembrance of Things Past, a Longitudinal Evaluation of the Retrospective Method might be relevant to your opinions in this case, correct? Could be, yes. I'd like you to consider this research study which involved the following five steps. And I'm going to give you a hypothetical. One, children were interviewed at the ages of seven, nine, eleven, 13, and 19. Two, the mothers of these children were also asked questions regarding A, the extent of conflict in their families, and B, the degree to which they felt depressed. Three, the ages, at the ages 13 and 15, the children were also asked how attached they felt to their families. And four, at the age of 18, these children were asked A, between the ages of 7 and 15, how much conflict was there in your family? B, when you were between the ages of 7 and 15, how often did your mother seem depressed? And C, when you were about 13 to 15 years old, how close did you feel to your parents? Okay, got that? I, I, I think so, yes. Okay, and the last part of the hypothetical, the children's responses to these questions at age 18 were correlated with the information obtained when they were younger, okay? Yes. In particular, the children's responses to these questions were expressed in terms of a correlation coefficient. And a correlation coefficient can range from 0 to 1, correct? Correct. And a correlation coefficient of 1 corresponds to an exact 1 to 1 relationship between previous information and present uh, replies, correct? Yes, correct. And a correlation of 0 corresponds to a relationship to no relationship whatsoever between previous information and present replies, correct? But again, correct. Would it surprise you to know that when asked between the ages of 7 and 15 how much conflict was there in your family, the mean correlation between the previous information and the present replies was 0.19? Yes, it would surprise me. Because 0.19, that's not a very high correlation, is it? No. And a correlation of only 0.19 indicates that what these 18-year-olds thought they remembered about family conflict between the ages of 7 and 15 was not very accurate, correct? That's what that study would indicate, yes. Would it surprise you to know that when asked between the ages of 7 and 15 how often did your mother seem depressed, the mean correlation between the previous information that was taken at the time by the evaluators and the present replies of the children was 0.16? Yes. I, I am surprised by Indeed, that. Indeed, a correlation of 0.16, that's also not very high, is it, Doctor? No, it's not. And a correlation of only 0.16 indicates that what these 18-year-olds thought they remembered about their mother being depressed was not very accurate, correct? That's what that study indicates. Would it surprise you to know that when asked, while between the ages of 13 and 15 years old, how close did you feel to your parents, the mean correlation between the previous information and the present replies was only 0.36. Yes, I'm, I'm also somewhat surprised by that. Indeed, because a correlation of 0.36, that's not a very high correlation, is it, Doctor? Uh, no. And a correlation of only 0.36 indicates that what these 18-year-olds thought that they remembered about how close they felt to their family was not very accurate, correct? That's what that study indicates, yes. Therefore, we know that 18-year-olds do not accurately recall details regarding, one, past family conflict, correct? That's what that study indicates. And 18-year-olds do not accurately recall details regarding, two, whether their mother was depressed, correct? 
study also seems to indicate that. And 18-year-olds do not accurately recall details regarding, three, how attached they previously felt to their parents, correct? According to this study that you're citing, yes. But these are the kinds of issues that Freudian theorists are particularly interested in, correct? They can be. Therefore, asking about one, past family conflict, and two, whether their mother was depressed, and three, how attached they previously felt to their parents, led them into guesswork, correct? Well, according to that study, that appears to be the case. Asking people these kinds of questions about their childhood leads them into guesswork and speculation because memories for those events are rather poor, correct? Well, according to the study that you're citing, uh, that study appears to demonstrate that outcome. Indeed. Experience of past family conflict could be ambiguous, correct? Yes. Experiences of your mother's depression could be ambiguous, correct? Yes. And experiences of past closeness with family members could be ambiguous, correct? Again, yes, yes. In other words, these events are open to varying interpretation, correct? Yes. Questions about such events invite us to resort to imaginations at times, correct? That could happen. And people can find it very difficult to discriminate between what they accurately recall from past events and what they only imagine about past events, correct? That can also happen. Therefore, you are obligated by your ethical codes to acknowledge that a Freudian emphasis on childhood events as influencing present-day circumstances might be ill-informed and ill-advised, correct? Well, you've cited one study, and... Uh, Listen carefully to my question, Doctor. As an ethical professional, aware of the science in your field, you are obligated by your ethical codes to acknowledge that a Freudian emphasis on childhood events as influencing present-day circumstances may be ill-informed and ill-advised, correct? Well, if I have to confine myself to that one study then I would have to say yes. And you have not published anything in a peer-reviewed journal necessitating that we revisit and reevaluate the study by Henry that I cited to you? No. And you cannot cite anything from a peer-reviewed scientific uh, journal that indicates that these results are no longer valid, correct? Well, right off the top of my head as I sit here, no. Thank you.